From getting married, starting a family, buying a house, or even losing a loved one, life is all about change, both expected and unexpected. Luckily, there's a way to plan ahead and preserve the things that matter most. Here's how to create a last will and testament in Michigan. What is a last will and testament? It's a legal document that gives you final say on what happens to your possessions after you pass away. You get to decide who benefits from your real estate, bank accounts, personal property, and other assets. These recipients are called beneficiaries. You can also name a guardian for your minor children and leave instructions for your funeral arrangements. So, when should you get a last will and testament? For adults, we recommend creating one sooner rather than later. There are two main ways to create a last will and testament. You can work with an attorney or use an online will service. Remember, wills have different requirements based on state law, so you'll want to make sure that yours is legally valid in your state. LegalZoom makes creating your last will and testament simple with options for DIYers or extra help with attorney assistance. First, we'll ask you some questions, like who you'd like to settle your affairs and care for your minor children. We'll also ask you to name your beneficiaries and choose what assets or possessions you'd like to pass on to them. Next, we'll use that information to create your will. You can review your documents with an attorney or on your own. Once you're satisfied with your will, you'll need to sign the document in accordance with your state's laws. But don't worry, you can continue to make updates to your will as your life evolves. Now that you know how to get started with your last will and testament, let's talk about some other legal documents you might hear about. An estate plan lets your heirs, family members, and the world in some cases know how you want your property distributed upon your death. Now, there are two main mechanisms uh, regarding that, the first is a will, the second one is a trust. A will is a document that says, when I die, this is where I want my property to go. The advantage to a will is it's inexpensive up front. The other option is a trust. With a trust, the, the expense and hassle is more on the front end, but you can do away with the need for probate. When you're ready to get started, we're here to help every step of the way. Visit us at LegalZoom and start your last will and testament in just 15 minutes.